So I, um, I'm just coming out of Song of Solomon first to start off Solomon 1.1, 1, 1, and it talks about uh, this beautiful passage. I want to encourage you, man. Something that me and Jasmine was able to do before she went on to be with Jesus was every day we began to read the Bible together. And now all, we just challenged our, our marriage five minutes. It wasn't like, you know, something like wild, like an, an hour. Even though we, we met with Jesus on our own, we met together and we began to read the Bible. The, the one book we did read, and we read it a lot, was Song of Solomon. And man, it was powerful. It, it enhanced our marriage. It blessed us. So I want to challenge any couple in here, any married couple, any couple looking to get married. I want to challenge you to read. I want to challenge everybody. Read your Bible. Just read your Bible. And, uh, but, but do read it together. But listen, I want to tell you, it says, a beautiful passage out of Song of Solomon 1.1. 1, 1, it says, let him kiss me. With the kisses of his mouth. Let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth. God kisses, right? Yeah. And then it says, for your love is better than wine. I truly believe in this hour that we're living in. God, like Roy said, is drawing people back to Jesus. To the fundamental things, the truth. Which is Jesus Christ. It's no longer us. It's Christ in us. He is the beautiful one. He is the magnificent one. He is the king of glory. The king is coming. Matthew chapter 22 says that the kingdom of God is comparable to a king, uh, a king who, who, who made a, a great wedding feast for his son. Right? And he sends out servants. He sends them out. Hey, go invite everybody that I know. So he sends out servants. And, and, and it's to... And one thing that God was speaking to me is this to people. Like, how many of you have gotten wedding invitations to people you don't know? Not many, right? Well, maybe one or two. But, but listen, I have never gotten wedding invitations for anybody I don't know. So I believe God sends out these invitations to us as the church. And you'll see as this unfolds as I get around to it of what I'm talking about. But God, in this parable, sending out his servants, sending out invitations for people to come. There's a great feast. A great banquet. A wedding feast is about to happen. There's a, a great marriage. Is about to take place guys. So these servants go out in the name of the king. And they go and say hey it's time to come. But guess what everybody says. Everybody in this passage in Matthew chapter 22. Begins to say hey I'm busy. I'm doing this. I got this going on. I got that going on. I got this going on. And so his servants come back and they say hey Lord. Everybody's busy. And, he got, and, and it says that he kind of gets frustrated. And he sends the servants back out again. And they come back and they say nobody will come. And some of them got beat. Some of them killed. They killed some of the servants. And then he sends this. He says, all right, well, then go out into the highways and byways. Go out into the, to the roads and to the ends and to the ends of the earth. And invite everyone to come in. And so people began to come in. But guys, what I want to say is like there's, there's something on the church right now that we, we, we need to make sure that we're not busy. We need to make sure because in uh, Matthew chapter 7, he begins to say, many, many will call me Lord, Lord. Many, many will call me Lord. But that just doesn't mean that you're going to get into heaven, guys. I just want to read that real quick because, man, it's so powerful. It's changed my life. And uh, Matthew chapter 7. And so guys, as we join, uh, go on this journey together, uh, Matthew chapter 7 verse 21, it says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. And on that day, many will say, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, cast out demons in your name, and many, uh, many mighty works in your name? And then will I declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. And then it says in verse 21, Everyone then who hears the words of mine and does them will be likened to a wise man. Who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house. But it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be likened to a foolish man. Who built his house on sand and the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against the house and it fell. And it says, and great was its fall. Great was its fall. 